Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Exec of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and I'd like to welcome you to our new weekly roundup of news from the Trust. This is a week that has seen another sharp rise in the number of COVID patients. Winter's fast approaching and with it, an anticipated increase in seasonal illness, including flu. Already, our frontline staff have started to get their vaccinations to protect themselves and our patients. And I'd appeal to you to get your flu jab to protect yourself and your loved ones. Here's our Deputy Medical Director, Dr Ray Smith, to explain why this year the vaccination is more important than ever. Seasonal flu is a nasty illness. It's nasty for everybody, but it's dangerous for some people. We know that if you're unfortunate enough to get coronavirus and seasonal flu infection at the same time, your risks of becoming seriously ill are much, much higher. Whilst flu jab won't protect you from coronavirus, it will protect you from seasonal flu. It's safe if you have underlying conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, kidney disease, asthma or bronchitis. It's safe if you're pregnant and it's safe if your immune system is compromised for any reason. I've had my flu jab. All of us in the trust are having our flu jabs. I strongly encourage you to go and get your flu jab as well. Thank you. You can check if you're eligible for a jab on the NHS website. Now, living with COVID has brought many changes to the way that we provide services. An example of this is our drive-through COVID service for cardiac patients at St Luke's, which was set up during the height of the pandemic, but has now become our new normal. As Donna Weston, one of our cardiographers, explains, it's really helping to protect some of our most vulnerable patients. A lot of patients who come through cardiology are not very well patients, they're quite high-risk patients and a lot of anxiety through them patients was, was fed through with wanting to not attend their appointments and come to the hospital. Um, but since having the drive-through service, a lot of those patients feel a lot more safer coming. We are in our, our PPE. They will have a mask there in. There's no actual physical contact with the patient other than the window being open and us handing the device across to them. So they feel more than secure that, you know, they're keeping themselves safe. They're keeping us safe and everybody's happy. Thanks, Donna. This drive through will be available as long as it's needed to keep everyone safe. Now, here's a quick catch up on some more news making headlines around the trust. As you can see, there's always a lot going on. Now, breast screening programmes were paused nationally in March as the NHS focused its resources on tackling the COVID pandemic. Our Pennine Breast Screening Service resumed in August and this month, to coincide with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, our experts are encouraging you to take up your appointment if you receive an invitation. Here's consultant radiologist Dr Shazia Khan and health promotion specialist Julie Hodkin to tell you more. October has been chosen nationally as Breast Health Awareness Month and it's really, really important as breast cancer is the commonest cause of cancer within women in the UK. Risk factors for developing breast cancer are having breast tissue, growing older, having female hormones. If a nipple goes in and stays in over a couple of weeks, that is not normal. Another thing to look at is if you have a lump that wasn't there last month, get it checked out. Maybe you notice a dimple, that's not normal. Uh, if you were a bigger breasted lady, you might have to lift your breast up and just to look underneath here. If you have any concerns regarding your breasts, please have a chat with your GP. Thanks, Shazia and Julie. 
Well, that's about it for this week. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Just before I go, I'd like to welcome back Peggy, one of our much loved healthcare assistants who's been shielding for a few months now, but is back doing what she loves in children's outpatients. Peggy is an amazing 77 years young and is absolutely devoted to the work that she does for the children of Bradford. It is great to see you back, Peggy. So stay safe everyone and thank you for all that you're doing to protect our communities and our NHS and I look forward to seeing you next week. Mm -hmm.